Okay, we're going to uh, perform P phase picking using coral to C pick struck. The first thing I'm going to do is load some desired data and to make it easy, I'm just going to load uh, some associated waveforms we've already pre-computed on day 132. Now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, extract the channels I want to pick on and filter the data before I pick it. So I'm going to go ahead and load my default op structure. I am then going to extract the uh, vertical channels using coral extract and this uh, command here. I'm using arraypix.coralstruct simply because uh, the, uh, the command, two commands above that loaded my array picks saved the coral structures in uh, an array pick structure with field core struct. Anyways, that gives me a set of uh, 16 different associated waveforms and there's only three channels because I've extracted the vertical channel uh, from those associated waveforms. Okay, now what I'm going to do now that I've uh, loaded the data, extracted the vertical channel components, now I'm going to filter the data so I'm not picking uh, on really messy looking stuff and I'm going to use coral opt to filter and I'm going to input that opt structure I loaded earlier. Now I have a relatively nice looking set of waveforms. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform uh, phase picking on uh, I just uh, randomly selected the very last entry of S. Uh, two means I'm going to view two channels at a time, and save means I'm going to make sure I save that structure uh, which I pick. So um, now the screen's asking me, do I want to pick the seismogram? I'm going to hit yes. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I have this cursor here that automatically pops up. I'm going to click Z here and Z here and that's going to zoom in for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick right here for the P phase simply because I can see that's where the wave, the uh, data certainly rises up above what I would consider expected value pr immediately preceding that peak. I'm going to hit a P there. Now uh, to make things simple I'm just going to hit enter here twice. I'm going to ignore these other commands. If I just hit enter it will save them as nothing. Now I'm going to go down to the next uh, trace and all I simply did is I moved my cursor down here. Um, I'm going to zoom again, but if I wanted to zoom out first, I would hit O on my keyboard. Okay, that brings me back to my previous zoom screen. Now I'm going to click, I'm going to hold my cursor here and hit Z, hold my cursor here and hit Z. Now I'm going to pick right here and to pick, I should have said this earlier, I'm going to hit P. Okay, now I just picked a P wave here. Now I'm going to hit O again to zoom out. Oops. I'm not going to do that actually. I'm going to hit enter twice. Now I'm going to hit O and zoom out. Now I'm going to hit the space bar and that takes me to the next waveform. Now I'm going to click Z here, Z here, and now that brings me uh, zooming into the uh, what is ostensibly the P wave for this next uh, trace. Now I'm going to go ahead and select right here because I think this is probably where the P wave arrives simply because that's where I'm seeing more variability in the uh, if I put my cursor here I can see I'm getting a lot of wiggle around there so I'm going to hit P there enter enter like before now that I'm done I'm going to hit Q that means quit and you see that my uh, cursor goes away or my uh, whatever goes away crosshairs I'm going to come down here I'm going to continue the C picks I'm going to hit no enter, no, enter. It's going to ask me what label I want. I'm going to hit P, enter. No files found in the current directory. That means that you haven't tried to pick on this day before. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, go to a different day and you're going to, we're going to perform another pick and this time it's simply going to concatenate uh, the picks from uh, column 16 onto uh, column 2 and it's going to add those picks onto the save file. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window just to be safe. I don't know why, but it might make an error. Hit enter. I want to pick the seismogram. Yes. 
Now this is a cruddy seismogram up here, but it's good to pick these uh, just to demonstrate how to pick them. We're going to zoom in by hitting Z, come over here again, hit Z once more, and now you can see that I have some pretty cruddy stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and think, go ahead and pick, excuse me, on P right here because I can see that there's a sudden change to the, uh, for lack of a better term, pattern to the time series prior to this. I'm going to hit P, I'm going to hit Enter, Enter. I'm going to come back here. Uh, I could zoom out and zoom back in. I don't need to, but I'll do it again. So to zoom out, I hit O. To zoom back in, I hold my cursor here, hit Z. Hold my cursor here again, hit Z. Come here, hit P, because that's almost certainly where the P wave comes in. Okay, enter, enter, out. Space bar to go down. Come here again, Z, Z. I'm going to hit P. Enter, enter, Q, come back here, no, enter, no, enter, ask me for the phase labels P, and now this time it's not telling me that no files were found in the current directory because it found a, a file in the current directory, and if I go ls minus ltr star, uh, excuse me, phase picks to see what I just picked, in, oh shit. Okay, uh, ignore that. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. I, I just wanted to see my what I just picked on, so we're going to do this, I guess. Okay, and this is the guy I just picked. We're going to load that sucker. And if I type phase picks um, and scroll up here, you can see that I have a three by two column structure and those two columns correspond to the two waveforms I just picked. Okay, uh, thanks.